get inside yourself. Hey guys, it's your girl Valerie Ortiz here and you're watching American Latino TV celebrating American Latino pride. And like always, we have the stories that will inspire you, motivate you, and get you to dream big. Now, today's show features some amazing women, all of who took control of their own lives and careers to become the mega successes they are today. And that begins with our first story, Marissa Ramirez. With primetime TV saturated with almost identical crime dramas, it was left to the cast and CBS Blue Bloods to do something to stand out from the rest. Enter recently promoted detective Maria Bias, played by Marissa, who starts off this season as Donnie Wahlberg's brand new partner on the beat. We sat down with Marissa to find out why the fourth season of the hit show just might be its best yet, and why the best is yet to come in her journey as an actress. Check this out. 911, what's your emergency? I'm scared. What's your name? Tommy. What are you scared of? My dad. I'm scared of my dad. He's been acting weird, and I just want to go home. I think the cop dramas, people are watching them because you feel like you're a, a part of the case solving. It's an hour long ride. Can you tell me your location? You're not doing nothing. You're talking to somebody. Give me that phone. No. I am Marissa Ramirez. I play Detective Maria Baez on Blue Bloods. Blue Bloods is a cop drama with a lot of family drama as well. There's a perfect marriage between this cop procedural show and this family. Tom Selleck is the police commissioner, and his daughter Bridget Moynihan is the district attorney, and Donnie Wahlberg plays, I play his partner, he is a detective. Hey. So it looks like Russell was paying out of pocket to see a doctor, Alex Dawson. I know that guy. It's the guy they sent me to for anger management. Guess he's not too good at his job. That's funny. Donnie and I just had such an awesome chemistry and we created this sort of balance between partners where we really are there for each other, really help each other out. Um, he has such great advice that I was always welcoming and listening and we have so much fun together. And I think it was basically the first day of work. We just, we just instantly connected. Are you good? Yeah, I'm dumping Russell's cell phone. Looks like he hasn't used it for hours. According to the school, John Russell picked up his son at 9.45, said he had a doctor's appointment. And that didn't raise any red flags with them? I never really had a chance to sit down and think about, this is the kind of show I want to do, this is what I want to do. It was always just keep going, just try to get the next job, because I'm that person that wants to work all of the time. So uh, my energy that I put out there was, what am I going to do next? Growing up, I never really thought about acting. I actually started modeling when I was 12. Then after high school, I started traveling and I was all over the place, Singapore, South Africa, Italy. Over my travels, I sort of developed some sort of personality. I wanted to start talking and stop smiling for cameras. And I came home and, and started hosting and it just sort of kept going on this little journey, this little roller coaster and I started acting and I fell in love with it. They said the parents were not divorced and they never had any indication that he could be a danger to his child, although his teachers said he made this in art yesterday. Well, that certainly raises a red flag with me. Every aspiring actor, actress has their own journey. And I think my one piece of advice is to never forget who you are. It's not an easy business. And so for people who are strong enough to handle it, it can be really amazing. 